Vinny, will you play Splatfest? I'm good on Splatfest. Too many other games to play. I'm not thinking about Splatoon lately, sorry. Vinny, you should stream this time every day. The thing is, I can't because this is usually studio time. Or just, you know, like life and errands while stuff is open. Um, I like to enjoy the weather sometimes, but also, you know, there's a lot of distractions. Like I get phone calls, I hear weird vibrations. Um, it's difficult for me to stream at this time. Cards on the table, what's your opinion on this game so far? Every stream I've done that, so just maybe at the end of my streams of the game, I'll, I'll go through it again. I just, I repeat myself so goddamn much, and I know that's annoying for some people. It's not that, it, it can be okay for me. But I just would rather wait until I finish the game to give a full... Um, if I'm gonna recap for the seventh time, I'd rather wait until the end of the game. But here, in a nutshell, it is a good game. So anyway, here's this thing about Star Trek I want to tell you about. Um, I think I have everything I need. I got the three orbs. So I just have to deposit the orbs into the door here. What do you think these three openings are for? Woman's very afraid of the size of her opening! Oh, it's a door. Well, that seems pretty obvious in hindsight. Let's head inside. I can't wait to get to the top, assuming it doesn't just go on forever. Tower of the Gods. Oh my gosh, it's the meeting of the four of elementals. Water, earth, fire, and ice. Hello, so nice to see you all again. Oh, they're just statues. I, I knew that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna smash ancient, ancient pillars! And then love in the middle is the fifth element. This belongs in a museum! Bonk! open over there. Okay, 
Okay. That took a little too long. Oh no. What happened to the Arvelimento's face? It's split in two for some reason. That must have hurt. And the water elemental only has one eye, or maybe it's winking down at us. It's all so mysterious. No? What are you doing? What is that? What did you just take? An apple? Looks sad. Maybe a little present will cheer it up. I don't have the thing. It stole the crab stole. Thab... Thab creeps. What's it eating? Do you think it's tasty? I bet it's tasty. That was a dramatic line reading of Olivia from me, Vinny Sauce, age five. Mario, like, needs to eat. Oh, he does. Pasta. In, in the show, it's always pasta. Always. With no sauce. Never mind. He eats. Because I was going to say, does he even consume the mushrooms and fire flowers? Like, can you eat flowers like that? It's the 30th year of Mario. 35th year of Mario, so I figured it would be worth asking these questions, these vital questions. Mario and I have the same birthday. You know what's weird? Mario's gonna outlive me. Damn. Well, again, from Mario's 35th... Here's what I got. So far, this is all we know that we have. It's Paper Mario and, and this horror show. Vinny, don't say depressing stuff. Yeah. I know, you're here for the escapism. If you want depressing stuff, I guess you could just listen to my music. Gotcha. Vomit in the ball pit makes me cry every time. Tears of piss. Okay. Got the thing I need. Someone should make an extension for the stream that keeps a running tally of every time Vinny mentions his band during each stream. 
Uh... Well, I mean, it is a part of my life. It's a pretty big part of my life. I think, um... Probably less than you think. But if you need a tally... Vinny, is that a crit is that a criticism? I don't know. If you need a tally, you'd definitely over a year, you'd probably hear it a, ten or ten or so times. Per month. Uh, hooray, the Earth Elemental's face is back together. Just look at that happy smile. You'd be better with a like a Star Trek or Blade Runner counter, honestly. Vinny, what do you think of this game counter? Or Vinny, what do you think of Star Trek Lower Decks? That's a double shot. That goes on... two different lists. I need those coins! I don't give a shit! Oh, fuck. Vinny, why did you not get the huge heart? Vinny, why did you not get the huge heart counter? Every time Vinny says, the. Yeah, well, a lot of REM lately, a lot of Stanley Kubrick discussion. Um, yeah. Whoa, why are there toads stuck to the side of this tower? I don't see anything holding them. Or Wawa. You can get a Wawa counter. Um, don't see anything holding them against the wall. How are they staying up? It's invisible. Oh, hmm. On closer look, these toads seem to be strapped to the wall with some kind of tape. Poor toads, they're stuck in such unflattering positions. I would be so, so embarrassed. Someone said we've moved on from Star Wars rants. Have we? Yeah, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> I don't have any new things to talk about. Whoa, it's a staring contest between fire and ice elementals. Wonder who's gonna win. I'd bet my coins on the ice elemental. Its fangs are so intimidating. Someone named That's Right Jay in chat says, Vinny, what do you think about why you live in New York? I'm beginning to question my New York living decision lately, but, uh... <laughs> it's good, I like that. Good name, too. Anyone know of any cool places in New Jersey? My other favorite state that I p take people on tours of virtually in Google Earth and Flight Simulator. Point Pleasant. I, I, I like Point Pleasant. I don't think I'd live at, like, a, a shore town, though. 
Like, even Asbury. I like Asbury Park, but I, I probably wouldn't live there. I think I'd, I'd want to live close enough to New York City, where I could drive to New York City in an, in an hour at most. You know. But I, I like- I do like living in New York, but Jersey has its benefits, too. You get some nice peace and quiet. Nice smell. Wawa. What draws you to New York the most, other than familiarity? I just love that everything's happening here. Great, sh like, concerts. My family's here, my friends are here, my band is here. So I add that to the tally. Um, Mario is here. There's a lot of, a uh, great food. I mean, I just, I love the whole vibe of New York. I, I, you know, I like the... I like the city. Even if I don't quite live there, I, I enjoy going to it. I don't know, it's- it's- it's a lot of different things, I guess, but lately it's not- it's been less good. Because of COVID or what? Well, yeah, mostly. That and- and, um... There's a lot of, um, people getting shot lately again, and, like, there's a lot of, uh, doom and gloom about the city going back to the way it was in the 70s, which I don't think is the case. I really don't think that's gonna happen. Um, so, I'm not selling the idea of New York City particularly well when I say those things, but yeah, everything's closed. Businesses are closing, restaurants are closing. It's been, it's been challenging. The city thrives on tourism and lots of people consuming at all times, and the city's never faced this, not even during, like, a world war. So it's... Yeah, it's, it's struggling. What happened in the 70s? Uh, I guess, maybe look it up for a better explanation than I could ever give, because I wasn't alive then, but... Um, lots of crime, lots of porn. No, seriously, Times Square was just like, like nudie bar and porn store, just all in a row. Times Square was was dangerous, filthy, drugs, everything. Again, I wasn't alive, so I I have no idea how true any of that is, but it was not a particularly safe place to live at that time. But hey, rent was down. It still is, isn't it? No, you're you're not allowed. There's a rule in place where you're not allowed to have a porno store next to another porno store. I think it's like only one per block. There's actually a like a fucking law in place to prevent sex stores from being too close to each other. Damn it. But no, New York is still pretty great in its own way, and, and it wasn't... Like, for people who are joking around, like, Vinny, isn't New York like that anyway? No. For as long as I've been... going to the city, and, like, sentient about it, like, you know, like, from the age of 18 plus, New York City has been, like, really safe and great. So... But yeah, now I've talked about the rent dropping, so that might, like, you know, eventually happen, and people are moving out. I don't know how, how, how things are gonna go overall, but it's looking... I, I can't figure this out. It's looking like things are gonna have to change here, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, right, it's one of those. I always forget about that. Those just never seem obvious to me.
A rent drop is much needed in most of America. Yeah. Yep. It's just hard. It's hard to live. Or wage increase. Staten Island is not Manhattan or Brooklyn, right? But if you want to buy a house here... Do you have... How much money? Let's say 600,000 to a million. For like nothing special. Like a, a one family home. And it's just because of the closeness, a closeness to New York City. Um, it's, it's insane. Yeah, no, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. And meanwhile, I was looking over at Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, and it's like, oh, you can get a mansion for 300k. 300-400k. It's insane. Not that I'd want to live in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, but it was just a thought. I was like, oh, let's see. Let's see what it's like over here, because it's pretty. It's got some nice mountains. Be happy you aren't in Cali. 300k gets you a shed. Oof. Okay. I see what I have to do here. Nice music. Shit. I think I broke one that I wasn't supposed to break. And like again, I've mentioned pizza places seem to be doing fine and even thriving in some cases, and there's a bunch of new pizza places opening up. But... I just feel bad for people that open restaurants. Like... That's gotta be tough. Like, not big chain restaurants either, like just small mom-and-pop businesses. Like, I have a lot of empathy for those people, because that's... That's a hard fucking thing to do, especially in New York City. Or like... Even getting the startup capital to open, like, a little pizza place here in, in Staten Island is probably pretty nuts. But, yeah, some places are still doing okay with outdoor dining, but I'm assuming they have to cut their profits down pretty... Vinny, no, you ruined it. Did I? Just reload the area after filling the holes. Yeah. Check this out, chat. That's not what I wanted to do. Check this out, chat. Icy Hot Kingdom.
left or up? Last time there was a puzzle like this too. Just couldn't do it. Hmm. Oh. Oh ho! The ice elemental was grinning. But it couldn't bear it. The fire of elemental wins this one. Olivia could be a streamer. A VTuber. Like a streamer or a streamer? Like a streamer. Uh. Olivia would be in chat giving advice. That's cool. We've got a lot of... chat... Livia's... in this here stream. Which I'm obviously very happy about. Helps me out. Chat can't really help me with these puzzles, though. If you think about it. If I look over at chat and I'm failing one of these things, the most I can get is Vin slide. And like then I have to look over real quick because of the time limit. Slide is up and down, rotate is left and right. Yeah, but it's also hard to know where chat wants me to slide and rotate, so I... If I get a little bit of advice, it doesn't really... It sometimes helps a little bit, but it's not like a direct solution. The toads... Yeah, toad chat is, is actually better in this case. If they just had scary music... ...and their noises were a little louder... ...this would be a little bit more horrifying and it would be kind of cool. Tower of Babel, yeah, and toad form. Or if you've played Eternal Darkness, the pillar of flesh that they use, where they, they just dump a bunch of bodies into a pillar and then use it, then concrete, and just turn it into a giant, like, meat pillar.
Ah. Yeah, it was a waste of an iron one. I still have some other iron. Some regular old shiny boots, we could use those too. Gold boot for wealth. Oh, 51k, not good enough for you. Any slide? This isn't helping again. I should play slide away from Oasis during a BRB one day. For this game. And then you can hear Liam Gallagher try to pronounce the word slide. Slide! Sure. Chat wants me to use gold boot. Sure. Yeah, that's just toad money. I feel like, um, them giving hearts and full heals before, like, notable events is nice, but... I wouldn't mind just having to use my mushrooms like uh, other RPGs where you have to potion up. Hey, we reached the top. Wow, look how high up we are. Wow. And look what else is up here. We finally found the end of the purple streamer. But how are we supposed to get up there and smash the spool? Uh... Hey, I'm elevating here! Fucking tape. You Mario, I got a message from the boss. How about you come over here so I can give it to you? And you origami kid, be a good goyle and run back to Ollie. It's past your Betty by time, capiche? It really is an Italian tape. You two were gonna try and take this streamer out of the picture, eh? I come in strips too, you know. I got a grudge with things that wrap over other things. You think I'm some kind of joke, eh? You think I'm funny like a clown? I guess we know who stuck those toads to the tower now. 
Sheesh, how did all this- these harmless origami-making tools end up with such tacky personalities? Hey, I'm not tacky, I'm sticky! That's it! You want a piece of me? Well, you're gonna get it! <laughs> I got a feeling this is gonna be a fun one. Come on, you two, throw your best attacks at me. We'll see what sticks. Well, well, it's a choice. Hit the tape dispenser with your hammer to break it. Hey, why were there so many panels hiding in that chest? Hey, don't go messing up my hard work. You get titty up, you know? Can't leave no evidence. I guess I'm just gonna keep hammering away first. Good shit. Good shit. I wonder if I should throw hands now. I'm trying it. I'm not looking at chat. I'm just gonna try it. Hit the tape dispenser on all four sides to smash the whole thing. Fuck. It's already been destroyed. Figure something out. Damn, they're really not making this easy. I, I tried to do something like that. It's, it, I, I guess, can't, so that's okay. I'll figure out another way. Just need a little bit more time. So it goes around, it goes like that, it does that, and then... Then it goes there. I hope that's enough, like, free real estate.
Yeah, hopefully this works. It looks like it's gonna work. Okay, need a couple more smashes. What? We didn't finish it off? You two got some noise busting up my precious tail and made the spencer like that. It was worth the fortune. Not to mention the sentimenty value. If that's how you want it, I may as well dispense with the pleasantries. Time to seal the deal. See what you made me do? You got me breaking out the dirty tricks! Alright, let's wrap this up, eh? <laughs> well, this thing's out of control. It's no good. Cheating gangster. Hey, I'm attacking over here! Hey, look at me! I'm on a roll! <laughs> oh my god. Now that's what I call a stick-up. It taped up those panels, that's not very intimidating. Except now they're stuck together and can't be ropa- uh, ropated. Rotated independently. Vulnerable to fire. What if I just use the hands to unravel the tape? That's my theory. Yes. Yes! Yes! Really taped up. Oh no, it was the treasure chest I wanted to go for. Oh fuck. Where am I going now? Nowhere? Oh, I misjudged. I guess I could use the fire. I just need to use the hands again.
I, that was a setup move, chat. Well, shit. Um, yeah, I could use the fire to get rid of the tape. That would be nice if I could do that. I have to turn it on first. I, I think I let this... Everything got taped up too much. Oh no. Here, it would this would be on and then it would go over here and then it would fight So that goes down and then that then two and then on and then and then and then That way on and then wait wait then it goes on and then it goes uh, And then it goes into the thing I thought it was going to go into the thing, it didn't. Okay. Could just like end this now. Go for fire or hand? You know what? I'm gonna go for the hand. Why didn't Mario go faster? Why didn't Mario go faster? I was shaking the controller like a fucking chimpanzee shaking a banana. That makes no sense, but I was... Why do I keep reading chat about these fucking fire flowers? Why do I keep reading chat?
time to burn. I hope this does damage, too. No stream tonight, no. I, I will be watching the second half of Akira tonight. Watch Perfect Dark Stream if you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, that will... that worked out. I hoit it hoit! Don't do this to me. I'm changed adhesive. I won't stick nobody up no more, I swear. Boss, Ollie, you gotta do something. You gotta avenge me. I'm... I'm... Hey, forget about it. Forget about it is actually on a sign when you're leaving Brooklyn. It says, you're leaving Brooklyn, forget about it. All right, we can reach the streamer now, Mario. You know what to do. You know what to do! So, I guess Mike and Jerma, and other purple streamers, I don't know which one chat hasn't decided, but um, I'm, I'm next, I'm the green streamer. Twitch itself, that's all of Twitch. Twitch chat, Twitch in general, Mike, Jerma, um, Jaundice. Hooray, now there's just one streamer left. I don't think we've seen the last one yet, have we? It could be anywhere. Do we even know what color it is? We took down the red one. Then the blue one. Huh? Has that green streamer been there this whole time? Goes up and up and up. Oh gosh, it's going up above the clouds. How in the world are we supposed to follow that? I can't float up that high and... It looks way too high to jump, even for you, Mario. Maybe there's some kind of hint up here? Wishful thinking, but you never know. Oits. Oh yeah, the green streamer is a vine. If you think about it, it's like the beanstalk. It goes up. That's my name, Beanstalk. Finally, a Mario game. That watches my streams. <laughs> Miyamoto official in chat. Hello, Mario. No, he's not. There's no one named Miyamoto official in chat, even though someone will probably name themselves that now.
like Miyamoto shows up in chat, tries to donate, so he, so he can like have a message. I think it's super cool that toads don't have hats or anything unique about them. Haha. <laughs> By the way, eat Burger King. Even though toads do have hats, like there's there's Captain Toad. Or like there's in this game there's Pirate Man Toad. There's a uh, Green Toad. There was um the uh Professor Toad. Captain T Oad. There's Red Toad. Why doesn't Mario just DMCA these streamers? He's very good at that. Nary. You're right. Let's just try to make sure it's not encouraged. I still wonder what the fuck they're gonna do with Tony Hawk. Because I think... They know that, you know, a game like that would be better promoted with streaming. And then you have all these songs that are going to be, like, fucking put into a content claim system. And streamers are just going to play the game without the soundtrack, which is half the fun. So, I don't know. It's going to be... it's going to be weird. That light, it's going pow right through the clouds. That light, the light is calling to us. Streamer mode music? Streamer music mode? You know what they could do? They could probably get the rights to some of those songs, or like have, like, generic music, and just like a toggle for streamer mode. That wouldn't be the most difficult thing to implement. I mean, you'd have to like pay for some music, you'd have to like hire some people to make some like generic rock, skater punk music. Um, or you could just have the songs that don't get claimed. Until the rights run out. What is this place? Where are we? It seems like we're up pretty high, but it's too cloudy to see much. Hey, there's the green streamer. Just kind of trails off into the clouds. Should we try to see where it leads? So chat, green streamer is a beanstalk slash vine that goes up into the sky. What's in the sky? Aliens. And I do trail off on tangents very frequently. Game knows. Paradise found? Oh yes, we, we found paradise. Do you know what that means? Because I don't, but I'm excited. It just sounds good. Yeah, it's like Toad Heaven. Watch it be a casino. Welcome, welcome to Shangri Spa. Shangri Spa, that sounds amazing. What does it mean? Shangri kind of sounds like angry, but these toads don't look angry. They're almost too calm. It sure is mysterious. Our first customer in what feels like eons, and it's Mario? This is a blessed day. How does this place stay open if there's no customers? Hey, look at that, Mario. It's a Super Marino toy. Toy, Super Marino, not at all. This is a replica of the Spa Marino, a submarine we use to escort our guests to the Diamond Island Trials. I actually have quite a lot to say about it. Do you want to hear its fascinating history? Oh good, I love telling the story. So according to legend, our little Spa Marino was once stolen by the mythical Captain T. Sort of ransom, he offered the sub back to King Shroomsies in exchange for the King's crown. 
Well, that didn't sit well with King Shroomzy, a major spa enthusiast and Shangri Spa's most generous tipper. He also liked being king. So King Shroomzy's arranged to have Captain Toad, Toad, uh, captured and frozen in a block of ice. What a story, right? Wow, really? What a story, Mario! Being stuck in deep freeze must have made Captain Toad less of a hothead. He seemed nice. Definitely not a king toppler, you know? Good lore. Okay, goodbye! Hey, that seems familiar. Are you familiar with the Ancient Ones of the Scorching Sandpaper Desert? In fact, our services here at Shangri Spa date back even to those ancient times. It's said that King Shroomzies himself was a frequent visitor, liked his towels pre-warmed, if I recall. In any case, this relief was a gift from his kingdom. Thank you for asking me about it. Shangri Spa. Welcome to Shangri Spa, Mario. We're a place for you to rest, reflect, and be renewed through the power of hot springs. Hooray, sign me up. My mind and body could use all of those things. The suggested donation admission is 1,000 coins, and it is mandatory. Might I suggest you make that donation now? E, I can't wait to be refreshed and renewed. I don't know which one I'm looking forward to more. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy our services. Oh, and just one last thing before you go. We've started a successive soaker campaign. Please take the stamp card with you as you visit our hot springs. If you collect stamps from each of our hot springs, we'll give you a special prize and a toad job. Just remember to get your card stamped each time and then bring it back when, to me when you're done. That's it from me. I hope you enjoy Shangri Spa. Yay! I've been looking forward to looking forward to something. Everyone that was tabbed out playing a game or working on another another project heard Toad Job and tabbed back in immediately. Like, wait, what? Did it say that? This is the stamp booth for our successive Soaker campaign. Collect one from each of our hot springs, and you'll get a prize. Oh, it's like the Kid Icarus color hot spring. Sure looks hot. You think this is one of the hot springs? It doesn't look very springy. Time! You're so brave, Mario. You're just, you just jumped right in with no regards for your own crispness. It seems like you're fine. Maybe even better than fine. But what will happen to me? Will I get soggy? My heart's pounding, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh. Yeah, I get it now. Just gonna this out for a while. Don't mind me. Feels so good. This is what they meant by refreshing and renewing your mind and body. Bad news, Mario. I only care about hot springs now. Ah. How's the temp? I don't want to cook in my own shell. Why, well, you're, you're one of Bowser's minions, aren't you? It's awfully nice of him to let you take a spa vacation like this. That's what you get! This view is incredible. We're actually floating in the clouds, Mario. So nice, I almost forget about the green streamer. 
Ah, darn, I just remembered it. And now it's... Hmm? Yeah, it's probably better to forget about me. What's that horrible, scary face doing here? I think it's part of the spa? It's not renewing my mind or body! Maybe we should ask someone like this groundskeeper. Excuse us, groundskeeper, can you help us? Mario, what are you doing here? Sometimes I forget you're a celebrity, or do you actually know this groundskeeper? Groundskeeper? I'll have you know. Ah, it's not important. As Lord Bowser's number one, I have faced off against this meddling mustachioid marauder more times than I can count. You may have heard of me. I am known as Kamek. Oh, pleased to meet you. My name's Olivia, and Mario and I are both traveling around a bit trying to stop my brother's evil plan. Sorry, I haven't heard of you, Mr. Kamek, but it's very impressive that you're Bowser's number one groundskeeper. No, that's not... I'm, I'm not... Uh, look, the work I do for Bowser... <sighs> thank you. As Lord Bowser's number one groundskeeper, I have some important information for you. After escaping in the clown car, Lord Bowser returned to his castle where he awaited his command. Where I awaited his command. But just as he arrived, we were overwhelmed by folded soldiers. Bowser was captured. Uh, again. Having heroically secreted myself during the attack, I was ready to engage our enemy emergency protocol. Secreted? Secreted. Oh, I thought Kamek pissed himself. But the button I pressed shut off the airship's engines instead. It wasn't my fault! It's not my fault. The engines off Bowser's castle plunged straight into the Shangri Spa campus. <laughs> yeah. Right into our banquet hall. One must make reservation to drop a castle on our banquet hall. Do you have any idea how far out we're booked? I have no choice but to charge a late fee, an early fee, and an on-time fee, a cancellation fee, and an appearance fee. How will you be paying today, blue-robed wizard? Coins, credit, or the blood, sweat, and tears of Bowser's many minions? Excuse me, robed wizard. Hey, I know you can hear me over there. Ugh, never mind. Your fellow minions are already hard at work, so I'll just tack on an additional silence fee and leave you to it. Good luck. Well, you heard the toad. Uh, this is the state of Lord Bowser's minions, castle, and life. Ah, so that scary-looking face is just a part of Bowser's castle. And we need to go inside the face to reach the green streamer. You intend to enter Bowser's castle? Uh, very well, perhaps I can be of some assistance. Follow me, quickly now. <laughs> There's no time for side quests. Nice setup. Nice. They've got a sweep in the grass. Not even Bowser makes us do that. Yes. Ah, one day you're leading an elite division of shy guys. The next you're scrubbing the floor. Ugh. Here we are. Go right in, Mario. <laughs> what are you worried about? It's perfectly standard mouth door. Oh, these dudes. You don't see these dudes a whole lot in Mario games anymore. Well, that confirms it. There really is a lightning beast guarding the front door. I'm relieved it wasn't just my imagination. Uh, I suppose we don't have much of a chance against it from down here. Uh, those folded soldiers confiscated my flying broomstick. How will we get up there? Think, Kamek. Dad! 
the Mario Lego set I have uh, includes BJ Bowser Jr. He's he's in there. Oh, it's the young master, Bowser Jr. I've never been so happy to see Lord Bowser's devilish spawn come flying recklessly out of nowhere in his clown car. Because we might be able to use that very clown car to reach the cloud, you see? Oh, shit. Oh, my God! Canonically, that's it. That's the end of Bowser Jr. Young master, your, your body, your clown car! Oh, I can't understand what he's trying to say, young master. If it's about your current state, I assure you that we are aware of it. Unfortunately, neither he nor his clown car are in a condition to help us anymore. Excuse me, Kamek, I know it seems off topic, but have you been into any of the hot springs yet? They're pretty rejuvenating. Maybe a soak would even help the young master here. By Jove, you're right! Those obsequious toads in the lobby handed me a pamphlet about the restrictive powers of the hot spring of purification. It's near the entrance. Big words. Obsequious. Quicious. Obsequious. Quickly, let's get young master's shredded body into the spring of purification before the damage is irreversible. If my calculations are correct, he will be flying and wreaking havoc again in no time. Obsequious. Not loquacious. Obsequious. Here's the definition of obsequious. Obedient or attentive to an excessive or servile degree. Obsequious. Oh. Vinny, he's dying. He can wait. Bowser Jr. has been nothing but a pain in Mario's side for years. And now we're rushing to help him? Okay, I can't get that treasure chest. We can bring him to the spot of feet. Game over. Bowser Jr. has died. It's funny, I was talking about the Mission Impossible game on the N64, uh, like a week ago. And then AVGN releases a Mission Impossible episode. I'm like, yep, that game actually wasn't that great. Just watching it, I was like, yeah, I don't know what I saw in this game. And then they got, like, fake Tom Cruise, and it was the end of that video, I, I started fucking guffawing out loud. The, whoever they got to do fake Tom Cruise, and his over-the-top laughs and, like, teeth and smiles blew my fucking mind. I, I was... It was just so over-the-top, it was perfect. Literally called not Tom Cruise. Good for him. No, don't tell me someone else has reserved the spring! Excuse me, would you mind terribly if we hopped in with our shredded friend here? Were you guys also shredded and trying to heal? We're shredded, all right. Oh, ripped and shredded and so very angry. Charge and Chuck is one of my... F Favorite? No, wait, no, no, no! I hate Charge and Chuck. Never mind. No, I fucking like my least favorite Mario characters. 
I don't know why, I just really, really dislike them. Maybe there was an incident when I was younger with Charge and Chuck. I don't know. It happened on stream. I just feel like I have these memories of, of Charge and Chuck being a real jerk. It was probably tubular. It might have been the tubular level. Yeah, in Mario World. I Probably... Yeah. They were also just really annoying enemies, like, they charge at you, they take three hits to die. Uh, they're... they're just really... obsequious. You know? Now, young master, be sure to soak your entire body. Well, it, is it is it working? Yeah. Ha! He's whole again. Perhaps I should rescind my one-star online review of Shangri Spa. It wasn't me. I didn't crash the castle this time. I just came here to help Dad. The next thing I knew, I was all cut up into pieces. And what's he doing here? Are we about to fight? Because I'm always ready. Let's go. Her name was Olivia. She lived in Changri Spa. Just an origami girl with an origami heart, soaking and dreaming of the streamers keeping us apart. Wait, young master, we have more important things to do than battle Mario for the millionth time. If you want to help your dad, you could help us enter his castle. We require the use of your clown car. Do we get to fight someone? I haven't fought anyone in over an hour! Let's hurry up and do this! Oh man, this dumb thing's busted. Hmm, so even though you're back in one piece, you're still too creased to fly. Ah, you're all wrinkled and filthy. I hate to think what Lord Bowser would say if he saw you in such a state. Indeed, it seems flying is still out of the question. Blast! Guys, the wrinkles in the dirt and the creases. Just soak it all away in the hot springs, okay? Then we can get all of the stamps and the free prize. Hmm. That gives me an idea. There are more of these springs around Shangri Spa, right? And each has unique rejuvenative properties. The answer is clear. We must visit all of them. Young master, roll yourself and get onto my back. Come, you two. We must find hot springs to address young master's wrinkles, creases, and filth. There will be more soaking, I promise. Olivia got fucking wasted on hot spring water. Ch Charge and Chuck PTSD might be from Champion's Road. Even before that. Even before that. Oh yeah, no, here too. Oh yeah. Oh god, I remember. Yep, Champions Road. 61 deaths. That 61 is the- is 61 deaths. Isn't that nice? Charge and Chuck is not a good time. 
Uh, do you have somewhere else to be right now? I, I suppose you may. Very well, I shall await your return with young master. Oh, maybe there's more s stuff back here. I just wanted to double check. There's the last health upgrade in the Great Sea. Shop doesn't get new items yet. Well, the music is a little bit different now. But we're still missing some, some items. I was just wondering if the accessories... Vinny, the canned heart. Oh, right, right, the canned heart. What, what's the best shortcut for the canned heart? You buy them at Shangri Spa. Oh, cool. Take the tram in Toad Town to open the canned heart. I don't remember where the tram is. Okay, so orange pipe to the tram to the canned heart. Yes! Yes, sir! Ah! Isn't there a tram here, too? No? My work has reached its zenith. My hidden block unhider will turn nearby hidden blocks into regular unhidden blocks. We've taken this paradigm and hurled it into the lake of progress. Be gone, paradigm. Hold, hop down that pipe and I'll give you a quick primer on how to work the hidden block on Hyder. Similar to the toad radar. When you know you're close, a simple jump or swing of your hammer should do the trick. Like our other devices, the battery is going to run out sooner or later. Just keep an eye on that meter. Give it away. It's the hollow deck. Forget that there's hammer blocks. He just told me. Oh, I skipped through that. Vinny, you read it out loud? You, I mentally did not process that. If you're telling me I read that out loud, then my brain just went... <laughs> I 
It turns out you can smooth your brain at any time. Oh yeah! We're gonna run out the battery! We have shifted every existing paradigm, a new era of superior sensory apparatus is dawning. You know what to do, Mario. Take this hidden block on hider with you. Find every question block out there. Most importantly, if it explodes, do not tell anyone I've already sent some rather boastful faxes. My work is finally complete, so now what? I guess I could find a new hobby? Maybe I'll learn how to fold origami. Don't do that. Remember Chestnut Valley? Bobby kept rolling away because he was so round. He was really good at getting in trouble, wasn't he? Rip. Some good times with Bobbertson. We will miss him. Hey man, can you open my can, man? Mi amigo's chompers are cooler than cool. He can open up cans. He is an opening fool. Everybody loves canned food. Me love to open can with face. You have can need open. Now there's there's also one in the Great Sea. That was the one. Oh, so then there's probably one more in in heaven, in Toad Heaven. Hey, Bitter, uh, well, what say you go down to the clam? Bitter. Also, I got a Limes Raid, and I didn't even see it. I'm sorry. Thank you, Limes and Limes Raid. I feel- I always feel bad streaming at my unusual time for those reasons. I don't see such things sometimes, but uh, thank you for joining. I hope people... <laughs> Joe, are you all right? You don't sound good. I don't know what you're talking about, Peter. But I do hope people, it, you know, check out Limes and pretty much everyone that um, 
sends people my way to check out my streams. It's always, always very nice. Like Kit Bogan, who was here the other day. Does the original Paper Mario die each time he's faxed? Is it like the Star Trek transporters? It's... Did you ever see the movie The Prestige? With Huge Jackman? It's like that. Yeah, the original paper, like, and each time Mario gets faxed, the detail on his clothing and face just gets a little grainier and a little grainier, and eventually he'll just be a black and white, like, crust image of Mario. Vinny, what about official Alex Kurtzman? He just graded you. Oh, uh, thanks, official Alex Kurtzman. Um, if anyone would want to do me a favor in regards to Alex Kurtzman official on Twitch, just go ahead and unsubscribe from CBS All Access, if you have it. You know, really, like, just help Star Trek out. What about Burger King Official? Burger King Official, yeah, you should definitely uh, check out a different fast food place. In fact, just make your own burgers if you can. There's better fast food burgers available. I, I know that. I've been there. I've been to some fast food places that have decent burger. I'm not going to name any names because I was not donated to $5 donation from Wendy's Official. Oh fuck, I named the name. Yeah, Wendy's just shows up on Twitch, shows up in my chat. What up, Scro? I'm going to gift you five subs. You want a Frosty? My nugget? I'm like, uh, Wendy's, can you please stop talking like this? Thanks for helping with that. Been trying to trim those leaves from the inside for hours. What if I told you that Wendy's on Twitter is not just one guy, or one Wendy, or one person, and it's in fact like a team of 30 think tank, like board college students, that are helping Wendy's figure out how to appeal to the market. Hey Mario, the Shangri Spa staff are actually serious about making us minions work off our debt. We're selling a one-of-a-kind item for just 10,000 coins. Will you buy it and help our cause? No. No? Ah, oh, man, it's just... I thought Mario was collecting these things, you know? So I thought it was a good deal at this limited time price. This kind of manual labor isn't really our job descriptions. I'm sick of it. And I know technically we're supposed to be able to lift 50 pounds above our heads. Kamek defending Mario. This is the stamp booth for our successive Soaker campaign. So what, what's this hot spring? Spring of Bliss. Effective against folds and creases. Careful. I hear a lot more screaming than you'd expect at a hot spring. Careful, careful. Oh, shit! Too hot. What's wrong with Mario's face? Said Bowser Jr. I think we need to balance out the uh, red with some blue. and then I clean the coins. What's next, boss? Oh, 
No, I had them all stacked. Oh, nice music for battle up here. <laughs> Heaven music. What am I doing wrong? I don't know how to do this. Uh, shit. Oh, man, we're warbling hard. Audio is getting fucking ghastly. Oh, right. Well, that was a lot easier than it looked. Kamex got the rest of this. Water fixed. I go. Clown car bow. Oh, bow. Young master, is it working? Check me out. Flat as the day I was born. I'm back, baby. It's a big improvement. I was skeptical, but this hot spring really does a number on fault. Now then, we still need to address young master's creases and smudges. I don't want to take our chances with the cloud until he's back to full strength. Come on, let's glow. Let's go, rather, not glow. We could glow from radioactive wastes. We could go in there next. Let's get these baths over with so I can fight someone already. Is Olivia alive? Mario, look at Olivia! We need to get her out of this hot spring immediately. Folds are starting to disappear. She'll be regular paper in no time if we fail to take action. I have some experience folding Lord Bowser's laundry. Let me see what I can do. Yeah, she's looking more and more like one of Dad's shirts already. Is this right? I can't remember exactly what she looked like before. Uh, thank you, Kamek. I guess I was getting a little bit too relaxed. I was completely unfolded. Oh, but now that I've been freshly creased, I feel terrific. I'm back on the hot spring bandwagon. Dear Kamek, thank you so much for helping refold me. I 
Yes, yes. Don't make a big deal out of it. I'm just not used to receiving praise for a job well done. Did you fix it? I still hear screaming, but I'm pretty sure it's just in my own head. That's a, a that's a really dark thing that that shy guy just said. Fine. Well, I wasn't expecting to make a sale without even saying what I was selling. You're generous. So, okay, I don't buy it. Bowser Jr. says I'm cheap. I do buy it. Bowser Jr. says I'm rich. Bowser Jr. is Twitch chat. Shh, this tree's already pretty clean. Okay, this will be a stopping point for me. Hit the umbrella to get an HP upgrade. I could do that next time. Save point is the other way. Oh, good. Well, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I'm just going to not stream tonight. I'm gonna finish watching Akira because if you watched Perfect Dark, you know that there were some technical difficulties. There was an unforeseen update that broke a lot of the VR chat movie integration and stuff. And, um, we got it working at 4 a.m. So I'm gonna finish it tonight, and, uh, what else? Yeah, and then I'll have a review. I'll do, like, a, like a 10 to 15 minute discussion about it. And then next week I'll try to do another charity incentive. And, um... I hope uh, you enjoyed the early stream. Tomorrow is Sunday stream. If you want to watch some garbage or whatever. Weird, good, bad. I don't know what it'll be. It could be anything. That'll be tomorrow. And then next week, Crystal Chronicles comes out. So I'll be streaming some of that. Um, be finishing up Perfect Dark. Be playing more of this. Uh, kill it with fire. And destroy all humans. And then, who knows? Anyway, thank you. Yeah, I should definitely stream more Xenoblade as well, or at least play it. Problem is, people keep saying, you know, I'm like, I'm going to play the rest of this on my own now. And then people are like, no, 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 Vin, you got to stream the next part. And it's like, God damn it. So I don't know what to do. It's, it's kind of making it difficult for me to play the game. It's not entirely that it's not just the stream's fault it's, it's just my own time and my own like desire to play the game i haven't had the desire to play it even though it's been really good i have to figure out what i'm going to do with the rest of it